Well, renowned physicist Stephen Hawking is joining up with a Russian billionaire to search for one of the biggest questions, does alien life exist? Ready? Everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. Let's do it. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. We believe that life arose spontaneously on Earth. So in an infinite universe, there must be other occurrences of life. Into the great voids of space came a sound. Matter. There are more stars in our little galaxy than grains of sand on all the beaches of the Earth. We are an insignificant speck in this universe. In my opinion, this universe is way too big for us to expect to be the only intelligent life in it. to search for life in the universe with the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute. Now an exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star outside of our solar system. For decades, scientists were skeptical that we would ever be able to find these exoplanets because the stars that they orbit are so much brighter than the planets themselves. Looking for the light of a planet next to a star is like looking for the light of a firefly next to a lighthouse. I'm in love with this girl. All I know about her is her name. Perhaps we're both crazy. All I know about you is your name. The task 
of finding life in the universe is immense. Beyond the capability of any one person, what would it mean to find intelligent life in the universe? There's a big leap between finding liquid water and biomarkers and finding intelligent life. I mentioned at the beginning that I thought this universe is way too big for us to actually be the only intelligent life in it. If we're successful in finding intelligent life out there, it would answer humanity's age-old question of, are we alone? Personally, I think that we will find life someday out there. And depending on what we find, it could completely change the way that we think about life as we know it, along with our place in this huge universe. Thank you.